you get a laser cut pattern, wax thread, two needles, and a paper clip. This is a blunt stitching needle. They're not as sharp as regular needles. Pass one end of the wax thread through the eye of the needle. Pierce and slide the thread towards the eye of the needle. Pull the end of the thread tight. This will lock the thread. Repeat for the other end. Take the paper clip and open it up into a U-shape. Fold between the hole gaps seen here. First, fold the non-logo side. Then, Fold the logo side, so the logos are facing up. Push the paper clip through the last two holes in the wallet. This will go through all three layers. You can hold the wallet between your knees, in your hands, or use a stack of books to hold up the wallet. Pass the needle through all three layers of the first hole. Make the thread even before continuing. Pass the needle through all three layers of the next hole. Always start each hole from front to back. Pass the other needle through the same hole. Pull both ends tight. Pass the needle back through the first hole. And repeat for the other side. Pull both ends tight. Pass the needle back through the second hole and repeat for the other side. Pull both ends tight. Now pass the needle through the next hole. Start each hole by stitching front to back, then back to front. Continue stitching through each hole consecutively. Pull thread tight after each stitch. Continue stitching each hole from front to back, then from back to front. Continue this pattern all the way through the wall. Keep sewing in the same pattern until you get to the last two holes. Keep sewing in the same pattern until you get to the last two holes. Keep stitching until you get to the last two holes. Remove the paper clip. Stitch the last two holes the same way you have throughout the wallet. Always pulling tight between stitches. Pass the needle back through the second last hole. 
don't pull tight this time. Leave a loop of thread. Pass the other needle through the second last hole. And pass it through the loop, creating a locking stitch. Pull both ends nice and tight. Now, pass the other needle through the last hole. Don't pull it too tight. Leave a loop of thread. Pass the other needle back through the last hole and pass it through that loop again, creating a second block stitch. Pull both ends nice and tight. Cut off the extra thread. Now repeat the process on the other side of the wallet. 